coming up on the first pitch and towing the slab. Casey Mize. Yeah, Boog, he went deep into the game last time, only allowed one run, but he took a tough loss. Got to bounce back from those quickly and know that today's a new day. You can get that W. And a pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And it's gone! A solo shot. His 13th home run of the season, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Here's Mookie to hit. That's a hit. Digging it out of the corner. Around first, heading for two. Oh, the throw is wild. David Ortiz up next for the Red Sox. And the pitch. Line drive. Brings it in. And there's one away. To second, but way too late. Safe there. And now J.D. Martinez singing. He's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubble gum. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And a base hit on the line. The run scores from third, and they take a two-run lead. Around second now, going for three. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. And here comes Sander Bogarts. The pitch. That one ripped. Hill makes the catch, and that'll do it. We go to the bottom of the first. Victor Ray has a chance to hit. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bond. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past. That is the right field. Robbie. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Grossman. And first offering is fouled off. Sale ready. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. And now it's going to be Miguel Cabrera. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Swing and a pop-up. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that ends the... Back here at the ballpark, top of the second. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Kevin Euclid. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Swings here and blasts one left field. Way back there. It's gone. What a start to this one. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they add a run. It's 3-0. Kevin. Here's Kevin Ploiecki. Ploiecki. That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Enrique Hernandez. The, the, second baseman. the right hander back to Number work. Five. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The center field. Wind in the pitch. Henderson. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That was a moonshot. His 14th of the year. It's five zip. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it now is. It. Tons Thank of you. loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Here's Mookie now. 
Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. One down, base is empty. That one hooked foul. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Mookie Betts blasts one out. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-0. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Casey Mize is done, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. And they got him. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Now it's J.D. Martinez. That one drilled left field. Hill makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Bottom of the second. Now it's Javier Baez. Lead to go. For the Tiger. And that's in for that's a strike. Stop. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead Tiger. is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And how about Chris Sale locked in now? And now it's Jonathan Scope. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Ground ball left side. Tosses to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Next offering is down low. And sale deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Down in order. Go Top half of the third inning. Here's some real power at the plate. Off Wade the Boggs. The third baseman. Wade Boggs. Back up the middle and a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And here is Xander Bogarts. Base hit. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Singy. But that extends his hit streak to 11 now. Well, I know he knows it. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is going to go. An absolute blast to left. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 9-0. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. And now here is Kevin Plowecki. Line drive, base hit. All over that one right there. That ball was drilled 106 off the bat, and that's Number the kind of five. feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Man at first, Enrique Hernandez. Now at the that one is absolutely belted, and it's out of here. Kike Hernandez takes him deep. His 22nd homer of the year, and they add a couple more. It's 11-0. Digging in, Ricky Henderson. That one ripped. Hill makes the grab, and there's one away. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Here comes a pinch. And that one ripped to left. Hill makes the grab, and there's two away. Now batting. The first baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping Ortiz. in the long ball threat, David Ortiz. 
He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Throw cut off to third. Not in time. He's safe. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Singy, but that extends his hit streak to 11 now. Well, I know he knows about it, even if a lot of our viewers don't, and this is when it's clear it's no fluke. 11 games in a row, and that's when even the hitting coach starts to leave you alone. You're going so good that nobody wants to mess it up. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Here's Xander Bogarts. Lang back to work. Lang, and that's a base hit around third. He scores. It's 14-0. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. So stepping in for Boston, Kevin Plowecki. Hit hard on the ground is short. That's a base hit around third. He'll score easily, 15-0. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That ball looked and sounded like he was shot out of a cannon. Absolutely demolished at 117 miles per hour, which is extremely rare, but I bet he wishes he got just a little more lift on it, because if he would have, it would have gone way out of here. Line drive. Reyes racing over to make the catch. But the long ball. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. This is Willie Castro. Ready to go. For the Tigers. The wine of the pitch. The designated hitter, Willie a. Castro. Sale delivers. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. One down. Ball's just not carrying the first tonight. <laughs> now, you would Dang actually it. say that to your the teammate in the dugout. Man. No, I'm not that cruel. But Kevin someone would Mario. say it to me, and I'm sure it's probably been said before. Bogarts settles underneath it, pulls it down, and there's two gone. And next to hit for Detroit, Derek Hill. No hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. On the ground, Bogarts handles the chance, tosses the first, and that is the inning. Back at Comerica Park, and now the center fielder, Ricky Henderson. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed. Drilled the left center, way back there, and that is gone. His third home run of the game, and they boost their lead. It's 16 to zero. Now it's Mookie Betts. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Betts uses the speed, infield single. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And now, David Ortiz. That's towards center. Reyes has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. And that's a base hit. Around third. He will score. And the lead continues to grow. 
Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all bat, over it, but two. sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Smoke to the left, base hit. Martinez coming home. He scores, and they extend their lead. We all saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? Stackcast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit below was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's hand no problem. Now so two on with two away. And stepping in for Boston, Kevin Ploiecki. And a pitch. Laced into left. That's a base hit. Around third. He'll score, and the lead continues to grow. Over to third, but the throw's offline. Enrique Hernandez up next for the Red Sox. One for three. And here it comes. Rip to third and caught. Back here in Detroit, bottom four. Here's the center fielder, Victor Reyes. Switch hitter batting from the right side here. It's so impressive over the course of his career how he's been able to become a force on both sides of the plate. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. The pitch. No right usually you're going to see eight. that inside fastball a little Probably. longer coming in from the oh, opposite right side, there. but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. And a foul ball, he stays alive. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the second out. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm Not sure he'd bad. love to strike out the no, side here. Race, Make a little statement, yeah. but you got to be composed in this no, spot. Right, Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Betts moving under it. Makes the catch in and go. Michael Fulmer gets the call from the pen. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. And he's got a double, his fourth hit. Wow, just unbelievable what he's doing here. Four hits and all four have been for extra bases. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there, on its way, gone. His 39th home run of the season, and they add a pair. It's 21 to nothing. We take another look as StatCast tells us that ball the took off base, at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, Boog. He squared it up and knew it was gone. Now so here's Boston's so cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. That one hammered left field and gone. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. So the Tigers get a new arm from the pen. Gregory Soto. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. The throw to third, and he's out trying for three. And next for the Red Sox, Xander Bogarts. 
Bogart. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now Kevin Euclid. That one ripped. Hill makes the catch. And that'll do it. But the long ball. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter. Javier Baez. There's a strike. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against it. Swings and misses. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Jonathan Scope up now for the Tigers. No oh, showing some pretty seven. dominating stuff Second out there in this three. one. Not just oh, in terms okay. of swing and miss, but also Go. in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Old man for the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. The catcher, number 13. The pitch. Oh, there's the three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Haas at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Next offering upstairs. Next offering is foul back. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets top six. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Kevin Plowecki. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Sends it across the first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Here's Kike Hernandez. Soto back to work. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, if it's fair, out of here. Another homer is 23rd of the year. It's 23 to 0. Next to hit, Ricky Henderson. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Here's Mookie now. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. And he deals. Laser! Base hit! Siggy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Dead head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer. And just Back here at the ballpark, John Chompy with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading, leading off the bottom of the sixth, the Willie Castro. Swing and a miss. Willie. Strike one. Castro. Going two now. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Ortiz makes the grab. And there's one down. Now batting, now batting Jamer Candelario. Jamer. The pitch. Candelario. Fought off foul. Up the middle, Bogarts fields it cleanly. Fires over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Derek Hill, the next to hit. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Next offering is foul back. Two down, nobody on. Now a pop-up on the infield. Box under it. And that's the inning. Back at Comerica Park, J.D. Martinez stands in. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. 
We all saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? StatCast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's hand no problem. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base slugging too. Bounce to third, and that's a base hit. They get it in quickly, so first and second now, one out. Kevin Euclid digs in now. Here comes a pitch. Runners on the move. Throw, save! Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him, and right there, stealing third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. Base hit, one run is in. Another comes in to score, and they extend their lead. Here's Kevin Plowecki. And a pitch. Line drive, base hit. Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Dead head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. He swings and drives one out to deep left field and brings it in at the wall. And he's safe as the run scores from third. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. New pitcher for the Tigers, Joe Jimenez. And he'll be dealing with a runner on third. Bounced out to short. Wide throw pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. That one really hurts. You're already down in the game, and that error puts you even further behind. Just can't let it compound from here, though. You've got to flush it, get ready for the next one, make a play, get back in the dugout. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Next to hit, David Ortiz. Good contact guy, good defender. The pitch, double steal. Throw to third, he's safe. That stolen base right there was all about the jump off the pitcher. He got a nice lead, timed him up perfectly, and was off to the races as soon as that pitcher went home. That's how you want to do it. That excites the entire team over there in the dugout. There's a swing and a drive. Tracks it down for the out. And that is that. Bottom of the seventh, stepping in, Victor Reyes. Leading up for the Tigers. The wind of the, the pitch. Victor. Foul ball there. Reyes. Next pitch has popped up. Bogarts right there to make the grab. One away. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, right it seems Number like, eight. within the third or fourth pitch of Bobby. just about every bat. And here it comes. Grossman lets that one go for a strike. Third trip to the plate for him here. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. Brings it in with a now nice back. running First grab. Baseman. And there's two away. Cabrera at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And it... We go to the eighth, and here is J.D. Martinez. The right-hander back to work. On the ground to third. That's a hit. 
everything came together perfectly for him right there. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. This way, Fox now. And a base hit into right center field. Martinez around third. Scope with a relay throw, and he's in there as a run scores. And here comes Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts. And a pitch. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. No, this thing was hooking down the line the entire way. We knew it was going to be close and bang, right off the left field pole. That was a pretty swing, and he found a way to. That one ripped. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. Man, Siggy, oh, he hit that ball right on the sweet okay. spot. According to StatCast, the exit velo 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. That one is gone. Enrique Hernandez up next for the Red Sox. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. This to third. Over to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Still stepping in for Boston, Ricky Henderson. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. The pitch. And a foul ball left side. Swing and a line drive caught. But the long ball. Welcome back. The batter now, Javier Baez. Leading up for the Tigers. And first That's offering is fouled off. Baez. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And Ricky Henderson the grab. Still rolling to start the eighth. Just five more outs to get. And now it's Come Jonathan on, Scope. Seven. Second baseman. Jonathan. Chopped out in front of the plate. Go. On to first. Two, two up, two down. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, he hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Haas up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. And now it's even up. Strikeouts have been a big part of the success in not allowing a hit. One and two now. Sail back to work. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the inning is over. Back here in Detroit, we go to the ninth. And stepping in for Boston, David Ortiz. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. J.D. Martinez. The pitch. Line drive. The throw in. In there safely. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. A run comes in on the play. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. Jimenez back to work. Throw to third, and he's in there easily. Wow, these guys are merciless. I'd say a questionable decision to steal third right there with the big lead. Probably won't be received well in the other dugout. 
Base hit and a run comes in. Well, let's get a better feel for that rocket by diving into the numbers with StatCast. Singy, he didn't miss it. No, clearly not. I mean, he launched that ball at 118 off the bat, and that's just ridiculous power. You know, very few guys can hit a ball as hard as he just did right there. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And it's out of here. Now batting. Number five. Yeah, the batter now, Enrique Hernandez. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter. Rick. Left field way back there. And that one is going to go. Back to back to back home runs. And these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not. But I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. So Mookie Betts with a base hit. Man, Ziggy, he hit the that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit velo 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Base hit around third. Baez with a relay throw. Throw is wide. He's off the bag. And the winning run scores. And stepping in is the speedy J.D. Martinez. He's already homered in this game. And that one hammered. That's back. That's back some more. And that one is going to go. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. We got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. That one is hammered right field. Out of here! He's done it! He's got the cycle! Well, there's no doubt he knew what was at stake as he dug in, and who knows if he actually tried for it there, but either way, he delivered. Man, that cycle, just so rare, but always so special to see, and especially when it finishes with a home run. That was awesome. Singy, he squared that one up in a big way, so let's take another look at it with stack cast. Dead head assemble! Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. Here's the catcher to hit, Kevin Plowecki. Swing and a laser off the bat. This looks like extra bases. And now let's see if he goes for it. Around third. He'll score easily, and the lead continues to grow. Well done. Drives in the run. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And here is Enrique Hernandez. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Here's a big power threat. Ricky Henderson. The center field, number 24. And he deals. Henderson. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. Unreal. Absolutely unreal, Boog. I mean, this is an all-time performance right here. Five home runs in a single game. Are you kidding me? This is something we'll yeah. never do. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Out towards left center. 
Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that'll do it. And welcome back at the play. Willie Castro. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. Soft contact in the air. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Now Jamer Candelario getting ready to hit. A switch hitter batting right. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Ploiecki puts it away, and there's two down. There's always a concern when running over towards the dugout because of that on-deck circle. The there's bat. usually a bat, no a weighted field. bat, a donut, a pine tar rag. Here. Catchers have to be really heads up to avoid that stuff. He's got it. It's a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever. Time of the ball game.